I mean, number one job was to finish the race, uh, to make no mistakes as a crew, and uh, with the car actually running pretty much flawlessly up until the last couple of hours where we had some little gear pot issues. Um, up until then, all we lost was the tail light. So the car proved its worth, the drivers did a brilliant job. Each and every one of them, based on their experience and their know-how, I think excelled. Uh, it was a pleasure to work with Enzo, who I've been able to watch kind of from a distance, but now got to see what it's like inside, and I, I see why he's had the success he's had. I think these, these two fellas to my left uh, have some fun times ahead, and they have potential to really enjoy themselves in, in endurance racing, and of course, no doubt about the gentleman at the end over there, who has a ton of experience and always delivered the car back, and uh, very solid drive by everybody. And I'd like to mention Eric Lux as well, who came in last minute, and uh, brought the car home under difficult circumstances. Yeah, it really was because uh, last year we had a lot of problems. We finished the race, but not as expected. This year, Elton put together a really good group of guys that did an amazing job with the car. Uh, the brakes worked perfectly. The problems we had last year with the Audi, they didn't show up this year, and, and the car was just really well, well prepared, and the crew did an amazing job. And, and just happy to be with all the drivers that took part of it. I mean, we drove a lot. We, we all had fun, and we did some good lap times. and. And we all did our job. I mean, the car is here in one piece, uh, is ready to go for the next race. Happy to be the, uh, part of Elton's uh, project with Dragon Speed. And, and now it, it was a re actually a really good training for me for Daytona. And, and I'll fly back tomorrow to start working on that and getting ready for my race. So, so yeah, just happy for, for Elton and, and everything he's achieved and really happy to be part of it. Yeah, it was a great finish. I'm very glad that I came here and um, to help uh, Elton to, you know, to, to, to achieve this goal. It was really great driving with everyone, uh, meeting everyone. It's a, it was absolutely a pleasure and a life experience, especially Elton's dad. Um, so this was a really great experience, uh, and I don't regret one bit of having come here to Dubai on a you know fairly last minute notice for myself. It was great. It's really a tribute to Elton, all the preparation and hard work that he put in to get us here. Uh, incredible atmosphere in Dubai. It was so much fun. It's my first 24-hour race, and the fact that we finished, and I brought my stint home, brought the car home in one piece. I was incredibly happy and uh, just had a fantastic time. And thanks to the drivers who really did it all, Enzo and Pierre, Eric, who's down the pit lane, and of course, Francis, who's amazing. So we had a fabulous time, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Just an incredible experience for my first 24-hour race. This is my first 24 and I'm very happy that I did it. Um, my time was going up three seconds, five seconds every time I went out. I wish I had more practice in the car, but I'm happy I just being here and being with this team, this team. Thank you guys. Thank you. This being our first time at Dubai, uh, it's great to finish. Also, the members on our team, uh, for them, several of them is their first 24, so this is a uh, you know, a, a big turning point in their uh, future careers in, in racing. And we're excited to what the rest of the year will bring and, and the following year. Uh, I'm sure we'll have much success and we know what we need to work on to get there. But to be honest, throughout the whole race, we really had to hold back uh, because the car was that good. Uh, it was right up where the P1 and P2 cars were the entire time. And uh, hats off to the Dragon Speed boys for making the car do that and everyone at Audi for giving us a good package as well. Next up uh, in a couple of weeks is Bathurst in Australia. Uh, we keep quite a busy schedule. I'm proud to say that uh, we've been able to fill the beginning of the year quite nicely. We'll be going to Sebring after that with an LMPC car. So uh, things are looking very nice. In the immediate future we got to you know, prep this car tomorrow, ship it out to Melbourne actually to the Performance Center of Audi who's helping us prep the car, rebuild the engine and apply all the things that I learned at this race so that uh, we present really a car that represents what Dragon Speed is all about which is pure preparation. <laughs>